All right, the camera fell down, y'all, so y'all got to get some free editing out of me. I usually don't do no editing, but y'all got some free edits. So basically, I was uh, pulling the uh, pellets out of this putty that I went on ahead and cut that dinosaur open and got my putty out of him. Uh, and I was just talking about how good this putty is for setting your targets up. So I just got a regular ass paper target, but it's better than the sticky target you buy because with this putty on the back of it, I stick it to anything. I'm gonna stick that to the brick. But right now, though, no, we're gonna stick it to this tree right here in this spot right here. It's a good spot for it. <clears throat> And that is stuck to the tree. Now all I gotta do is be able to hit in this circle right here. As long as I can hit in that circle, I'm hitting putty. I shouldn't either. Oh man. I might have to cut my shooting short. I got the neighbor's dog running around. Saucy. She ignoring everything. Saucy be running around my yard all the time. You know, I got one of them screens that uh, it's just a net. <laughs> I got the damn screen, you know, you, you can just walk through it because it's got the magnets on it. I got the screen sitting up. And shit, I'm in the house chilling. Next thing I know, saucy licking my legs. The neighbor's dog just walked in the house, started licking on my leg and shit, chilled for a minute and left. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, Saucy just roamed freely. Uh, but anyway, I'm aiming high. I'm aiming from low to high, so I shouldn't have to worry about Saucy getting hit. Saucy's pretty low to the ground. If my flyers are that bad, oh my lord help Saucy. So let's get back to it, y'all. We're going to load up some Ultra Shocks. And we're going to be able to see the, how, how well this grouped because the pellets will be stuck in that putty. I like about that. If you ain't got no electrical putty, man, I'm telling you, get to Lowe's and buy you some of that electrical putty because that shit good. As far as being able to set your target up anywhere you want. And, uh, and shoot it's really good all right let's get the ultra shocks ten point four ultra shocks here and this is JSB now this is a more expensive pellet I'm going to shoot them all out, but I'm expecting good things from them, better than the Crossman Piranha at least, you know, the Crossman Ultra Magnum wasn't too bad, it ain't too bad, I got some decent groups out of it, so we're going to do six shot groups, alright, just so we can see where this thing going. Um, I'm done with the, uh, you know, I, I need to be putting some serious tuning in on these because I'm hoping this might be one of the, one of the pellets I decide to shoot. Eight hundred 
See how I like that 858-60. Um, I might take it up to 880. That's a nice group. That's a nice group. And right there, you know, it's almost just a finger. You got a flyer right there. But for the most part, that's a pretty nice group. I don't even know if I want to fool around with trying to tighten that up. I mean, that's what a, uh, this is, this is with a holographic sight, y'all. I don't got my, uh, no target scope or nothing like that on here. I know it's only 25 yards, but that holographic sight, the dot is, uh, a half a mil on that one. So I got a half a mil dot. I'm aiming here. And hitting there, and that's nice. I ain't gonna complain about that right there. I'm gonna find a new aim point, shoot another six shot group. <clears throat> I'm gonna uh well I'm not gonna find another aim spot. I'm gonna I'm gonna tighten down just a little bit. Well not, I'm gonna relieve. A little bit of that valve adjuster knob just a little I'm gonna open it up just a little and see if I can get a better spread so <clears throat> right now even after changing pellets I've got a 5.4 standard deviation on a, a 18 shot count of 18 all right my extreme spread is 23 and that's after changing pellets um, I'm at 160 on my pressure gauge my rig pressure See, I don't know what's going on with this regulator. So I had the regulator, it was set for 140. The first stage regulator. Now it's back to 120. So I don't know if this thing is dropping with the bottle pressure. You know, because when I got my bottle pressure at 250, it was at 140. And now that my bottle pressure is down to uh, 150 or 160, my first stage regulator pressure is down to 120. And when I had first set it before I locked down the locking nut, that's where it was at. It was at like 120. So I don't know if it's just done settled out like that or what. But my second stage rig... It's holding steady at 80 or somewhere around 85. I need to get one of them electronic gauges, but I'm gonna wait until they come out with the with the one that sits in front of you, and I'm gonna get one of them uh, electronic ones and put it there. But we're gonna start a new string on this. All right. Um, with that standard deviation being at five and me having changed changed pellets I think I may just be in the sweet spot where I want to be that's what I like to see you know standard deviation of about five and you know my group looks decent enough for me with that red dot that red dot that that's headshots all day long on a squirrel or a rabbit 
So I'm pretty cool with that. So we're going to do six more shots at that same set. And I ain't going to mess with nothing yet. I want to see what this. Oh, shit. I lost all the pillows. I forgot to put the thing on top of there. What's up, Beck? Yeah, it's the skinny one. Two by 12. Oh, you got two by 10 and two by 12? Yeah. I'm going to have to measure it, babe. Hold on. Let me go measure it and then I, I'll tell you. Okay. All right. I just got a honeydew mission, y'all. GoPro, stop recording. 